Good morning. It's four in the morning. I figured I'd get some of my work done this morning. <laughs> so, oh, um, I'm going to show you guys that here at the end. There's some cool wraps that I had found. So I'll show you guys those here in a minute. All right. Anyways, I got to get some decals on this tumbler. So I just have a few more things here. I got to weed really quick. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, all right. That part's done. So here's uh, some of my wood grains. That's how they looked after epoxy. Looking good, looking good. So what I'm going to do is lay down one of these blue ribbons because it's prostate awareness, prostate cancer awareness. So like Movember, you know, mustaches. And then one of these little mustaches are going to go right over the center. And then the logo, their little business logo on the back. So that's, that's pretty much all I'm doing with this. So I'm going to get that going. All right, this is the last one I have up on my my thing here. Now, this isn't, I wasn't able to get all of them done. It's been so cold here in Florida that I put half the tumblers on yesterday. I'm just using my regular set epoxy, and it took 10 hours before I was able to pull them off the turner because it's really chilly in my garage here. So, and I don't have like a little heating source to put out here or anything. Cause honestly, we really don't get cold that often, but this has just been a very strange winter with how cold we've been getting down here. So I wasn't really prepared for that. And of course you guys know, majority of epoxies tell you to work in at least 75 degrees. And if you're not working in 75 degrees, then it's going to take a little bit longer for things to happen for you with, with the epoxy, so. But I think this morning, it's in the 30s here, which, again, <laughs> we are not prepared here in Florida. Granted, we moved here from Michigan, but that was years ago. We've become acclimated to the weather here, so, yeah. We don't, we don't have, like, big, thick coats or anything anymore. We just have, like, light sweaters and... We pretty much in the winter here is our our gear is pretty much just uh, shorts and a sweater that's pretty much all we ever really needed but this has been just a really cold time for us this year so i don't think i'm going to be able to put epoxy on these today unless it warms up a little bit all right I'm go add that to my my stuff over there and hopefully it warms up later and i can finish getting my epoxy applied to things here <laughs> All right, now let's turn on my other light here. Okay, there we go. All right, <laughs> now let's talk about these cool wraps that I had found on TikTok. These are UV DTF wraps. They are specifically made for can tumblers. There we go. So of course I happen to have a bunch of these to be sublimated, but they are specifically made and designed to fit perfectly on these without sublimating or anything like that. This is just such a game changer for those that don't wanna sublimate, but really want something quick and easy. This is great gifts for people, or if you just want a bunch of fillers for a craft show that you wanna do, these are super simple and easy to use. They're already pre-cut, but it comes with built-in transfer tape already on it. So I'm just gonna peel it back just a little bit to kind of show you guys, and then we'll get it applied. But it comes with the, the transfer tape and you see the little design on there. It's going to peel off with it. And then after we get it applied, we take the transfer tape off and then all that will be left are, is your little design here. You can kind of see how it's cut out already. And that's it. That That's all you got to do. I mean, and it's so vibrant and so beautiful. Don't, don't pay any attention to that. That's just little bubbles in there, but it won't look like that once it's on the cup. But these sold out so fast. This was all I could get. So I just, I, I, I took what I could get. I got little turtles. I got this little decal and I got this. But these are all from Gigaroo. So Gigaroo.co. I'll make sure to put their information down in the description box for you guys. I'm assuming every order comes with a little how to use, you know, cup wrap instructions. So we're gonna go over that, super simple. The only thing they recommend is do not use any type of, um, alcohol to clean rubbing alcohol or anything like that they said that's the only thing that could destroy these these decals so all i'm gonna do is just rub it down and get all my little my little oils off i'm not gonna use rubbing alcohol i said not to so i won't do that and all we gotta do is just peel back that 
outer wrap here. Now, obviously, if you don't feel comfortable, you can kind of line it up because it says on the instruction, it says make sure glass is clean from any hand oils. Okay, we did that. Do not use alcohol to clean. Okay, we didn't do that. Peel design film transfer off. Okay, line the design film on the glass cap and lay design film down. Okay, got that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> And it says that the adhesive is extremely strong. So once the film touches the glass, it's impossible to take off. So, <laughs> you know, no pressure, no pressure or anything. You just gotta be, gotta be careful when applying it. And then all you have to do after that is squeeze the film down, working from the center outwards, pushing out any bubbles, rub, rub, rub. The more rubbing, the better. Carefully peel clear film off and done. So. Okay, so the only part I'm nervous about is what if I don't get it lined up and oh my goodness, right? Of course me, being me, I'm just gonna peel it off all in one fail swoop here. <laughs> and I'm just, you know, I'm gonna do it that way. But if you guys don't feel comfortable, you could try to, you know, do it like how you do normal tumbler decals. Now I'm just gonna lay my hand on the one side so that way it doesn't go over. And I'm just going to get it burnished down. It says the more the more rubbing the better. <laughs> Let me get my scraper. There we go. So that way I can really get them down here. I know I also seen that um, they're gonna be launching these wraps for the the cold cups so they're gonna have that shape as well for people who want to put it on a what is it a 24 ounce cold cup so they're also gonna be doing that it's pretty cool like I said it, it's just so simple and it's great for people who just don't want to do sublimation but really want to use these cups without any type of epoxy or anything it doesn't need any of that once this is applied okay now I'm just very very carefully peeling back this transfer tape because I accidentally ripped a star there because I didn't rub good enough. That was my fault, not the product's fault. <laughs> I see, you know, I, I know when I did wrong. Oh my goodness. This, uh, I need to know what kind of transfer tape they use. This stuff's crazy. Oh Lord. All right. <laughs> okay, I did it. The cats were flawless. They were super easy because I think because it's a bigger design, these little stars were giving me a little bit of a hassle, but I did it. <laughs> but that is just too cute and just so simple. And that's it. It's ready to be used. That That's, that's all you got to do. I mean, I, I did rip that guy. Oops, it's my cup. <laughs> but like I said, that was my fault. I didn't rub it down good enough. So you just got to be slow with it but I think just these little pieces you know you really got to be slow with it and I was really making sure that I kind of applied a lot of heat to my hand because it is cold in here and my glass is cold too so but what a fun fun easy project to do I mean these are just too too cute I absolutely love these designs but the thing I love the most is there's nothing in between here so it's just the decal that's the only thing you can see it that's what's on the cup and so you just want to let this set for a little bit, kind of get stuck down to that, that tumbler really good. And they said once it's stuck down, it, it can't be removed. So I'll have to definitely give it a good uh, washing, see how she does with all that. All right, you know what? Let's, let's try one more. I think the turtles would look really cute on that. The green and the yellow, I think would look real cute together. We'll do it a little different this time. I'm just gonna cut off a sliver here. I just cut a little piece off just to have the transfer tape on the cup. Let's get her lined up here. Let's see how that looks. I think that's good. I think it did pretty good. All right, all I need to do is just hold this back and start burnishing it on my, my image here. I'm just pressing with my thumbs on the opposite side just like you would with regular decals. Sorry, you guys can't see it. Here we go. Now you guys can see it. As I go, pushing all the way around the cup here. That went on much smoother. <laughs> okay, 
And I'm gonna get burnish down. Rub, rub, rub. Oh, that went much smoother this time. That is adorable. Love it. These are just too fun and too easy to do, I tell ya. Look at that, done. Cute. I love it. So adorable. That went on much smoother for me. So see, second second one did good. <laughs> well, those are just too cute and too fun. I went inside and I washed them. I already put a drink in this one, but I went inside and I washed them. Did good. I think the only thing they recommend is obviously you don't want to put it in the dishwasher. I mean, you know, so no dishwasher. I don't think they said anything about a microwave. I don't know. Although, I mean, what would, I, I don't know if I'd be putting these in the microwave anyways. Anyways, yeah, but, um, you know, don't put them in the dishwasher, just like normal tumblers and all that. So, but these are just too cute and I can't wait to purchase more. I, I went onto their website earlier and again, a lot of their stuff is sold out again. So you just got to kind of be diligent with checking their website and seeing when they restock. But this is something new. I, I bought these. I've actually had these sitting on my table for... I think before Christmas it's been a while anyways <laughs> but I've had these sitting here and I've been really wanting to show you guys but they are just so cool and I am going to purchase more because like I said these are super easy great gifts to make for family friends so I, I like them and I hope you guys do too all right guys well I am freezing my tushy off out here <laughs> I really am it, it's it's very cold um, like I said, I don't have a heating source out here. I don't have an air conditioning. I don't have a heating source. Hoping to get my air conditioner though this, this summer because it gets, it gets up to about a hundred degrees in here in the summer. <laughs> but right now it's about as cold as in here as it is outside. Cause I'll pop my door open a little bit, but yeah, I, I can't work with epoxy in this. I don't know how you guys do it that work in, in colder, colder climates. You must have a nice, uh, a wood stove or something in your uh, crafting area or something because my epoxy just won't even mix. <laughs> Hopefully I can get my tutorial done for this week. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.